In this video, I will show you how to set the environment variables for RED5. So the first thing to do is open a command prompt, type in ant, and it says ant is not recognized as an internal or external command. We need to add it to the path. So go to your control panel and click on system, then click on advanced, then click on environment variables, click on path, and click edit. Now don't replace what's in here, we want to just add to the end. And notice that all paths in here are separated by a semicolon. Now we need to find your ant path to your ant bin. So go to where you've installed ant, then click on the bin directory, and then copy that path. Then make sure there's a semicolon before you paste it, and then paste it in your path. Now we need to add another path to your path variable, and that is your JDK bin path. So go to where you've installed the JDK bin, and I've actually got mine in program files x86. I've got my 32-bit version of Java in here and my 64-bit version in program files. But um, Eclipse needs the 32-bit version, so that's the one we want to go for. Um, then click on Java, JDK, and then bin, and copy that path. Now make sure to put a semicolon, and then paste the path. And then if you want, you can add an additional semicolon, so that the next time you add a path, it will be there to separate them. Then click OK. Now click New to add a new variable, and type in Java underscore home. Then what we want to do is get the path to your JDK without the bin, copy that, and paste that as the value for Java Home, then click OK, then click New to add another new variable, and type in Java underscore version, and then type in 1.6, and click OK, then click OK. Then click OK again. And then if you have a command prompt open, close it and open a new one. If you use the old one, it will not work and it will not recognize the changes to your path. In the new command prompt, type in ant and now it says build.xml does not exist. And, and that's a new problem, but at least now it is recognizing the ant. Now type in set java underscore home, and it will give us the path that we typed in for java home. Then type in set java underscore version, and it should say 1.6. If you had Eclipse open while you were making changes to your environment variables, then you should close it and then open it again. Otherwise, it will not see the changes to your environment variables.